Uh, dear friends, welcome to Asian American English Center. Take and remember his English grammar and news. We have come here to the video number 269, page number 283. We have come to the end of this Raymond Murphy's book. At the end chapter was the difference between British English and American English. British English, British English originated in England. The English originated in England. So it is British English and the English has been exported, you can say. When Britishers captured America, it has become the main language over there and entire Americans started speaking in English and that English with a lot of changes, a lot of changes. Now it is called American English. It is just categorized separately, separate and uh, different from this British English. See, the difference of British English and American English, three videos we have seen. Now we have come here to the fourth video. Difference is an adjective, difference is a noun. So here in British English, after different, you are using from preposition. After difference, you are using to. You can either use different from or different to. It was different from what I had expected. I expected something, it is something different. It is different from what I had expected or it was different to what I had expected. You can use like that or you can use difference from, different from or difference than. It was difference from what I had expected or you can say it was difference uh, f than what I had expected. You can use either this or that. And coming here, write to somebody. After write, you are pre using preposition to with a <coughs> object. Write to me. See, please write to me soon. You are using to. In British American English, you are either you are using to or it is not necessary. Either you can use, please write me soon, or you can say, please write to me soon. And here, verb in the section, burn, spoil, can be regular or irregular. What do you mean by regular verbs? In the past tense, if you had ed, it becomes regular verb. Burned, spoiled, it can be also like that, or you can use burnt, spoiled, you can use, but in American English, you are you supposed to use only irregular verb. The verb in the section are normally burned, spoiled. You don't say burnt and spoiled. The part participle of get is got. Your English has got much better. Get got got has got. But in American English, you say gotten. The past participle of get is gotten. Yes, gotten. So your English has gotten much better. Get got got in British English. In American English, get got gotten. And sure, have got is also an alternative to have. I have got two brothers. I have two brothers. So here, travel, word ends with single L. When you add ing, traveling, double L. When you add ed, it becomes double L, traveled. Cancel ends with single L. In uh, Past tense cancelled, double L, cancelling, double L. But in American English, there is only one L. Travel, traveling, only one L. Travel, only one L. Cancel, one L. Cancelled, only one L. Right, cancelling. So here, this is what the difference between British English and American English. Dear folks, we have seen the Raymond Murphy's books. 269 videos. How many videos? 269 videos. Each video has a duration of nearly half an hour. So nearly 130 hours, 35 hours video. See that and develop your English. Grammatical English, day-to-day -day English, the practical English, the spoken English, the English spoken in countries whose mother tongue is English, like America, England, uh, Australia, Canada, then what, Ireland, uh, New Zealand. So, dear friends, this English, Raymond Murphy's English, is so wonderfully written. Read it, listen to it, watch it, enhance your English power, and be a better writer, and be a better speaker. Thank you very much.